हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर टू विंडोज सेवन नाउ फर्स्ट वन वी टॉक अबाउट विंडोज सेवन विंडोज सेवन इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नाउ वॉट इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सर्व एज एन इंटरक्टिव इंटरफेस बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर एंड द यूजर दैट मीन्स इट इज द लिंक बिटवीन द कंप्यूटर एंड द यूजर it helps the cpu in processing it also helps to manage the computer's memory and to control the hardware and software so we can say an operating system manages all the hardware attached to the computer all the softwares which are installed in the computer everything is being processed with the help of cpu and the operating system manages all these things now we have various operating systems we are currently working on windows operating system linux and dos that is disk operating system are some other operating systems that can also be used we use windows because it has graphics it is colorful and user friendly and it also has various menus and we can run various applications multiple software applications can be run at one time on windows now windows 7 if we say it is an operating system for personal computer made by microsoft launched in october 2009 windows 7 replaced windows vista as microsoft newest operating system it was previously called named as black comb and vienna windows has graphics and it is colorful and user friendly multiple application softwares can be run at a time in windows as i've already told you now these are the few features of windows 7 if we say we have various gadgets like mini programs we have calendars puzzles clock etc which can float on the desktop then we have sticky notes which can be put to remind anything we can put the sticky notes on the desktop and put reminders on these notes then we have arrow features like shake windows we can click on the title bar of the window and then shake it and other windows will be minimized then we have upgraded accessories like ms paint word pad which have been upgraded they have new features then it has new themes like new backgrounds new screen savers then we have the start menu with a button then we have the jump list we can right click on any program icon to display a list of the recent files so these are a few features of windows 7 now this as you can see is the windows desktop we have the various desktop icons as you can see these the desktop icons on the left then this is the desktop then we have various gadgets which can be shown on the desktop uh if we talk about the start button it lies here in the bottom left corner then we have the program buttons this is the task bar and on the right side corner we have the notifications icon which includes the date and time shown by the system so this is a windows desktop now we talk about the files and the folders a file is made whenever we save any work in any program for example we have powerpoint we have paint etc so any work being done in any software a file is made there are two types of uh, two parts of a file name the name given to the file and its extensions files made with different programs they have different icons and they also have different extensions like if we talk about a word file the extension of a word file is .doc or .docx if we talk about a powerpoint file its extension is .ppt okay so we have different types of files with different programs they have different icons and different extensions now files and folders on a computer they can be managed by a program which is known as windows explorer if we talk about folders a folder is a place where one can store files related to each other and also other folders it helps us to organize different files on a computer a folder is also uh shown using a different icon you can also change the icons now we talk about the windows explorer uh 
the files and folders all are managed by a program which is known as windows explorer we have these steps to be followed to open the windows explorer we click on the start button then we choose all programs then we go to the accessories and we have the windows explorer let us have a look see the steps have been numbered over here first number 1 we click on the start button then number 2 we have the accessories we click on the accessories and then number 3 the windows explorer option is there we can click on the windows explorer and it can open now when we open the windows explorer we have various files and folders that are being saved in our computer okay we have various parts of the windows explorer this is the windows explorer window that we are going to share the first one is the left pane then we have the right pane and then we have the status bar the address bar lies over here okay if we talk about the left pane it consists of a list of files that we have saved in the computer then we have the status bar which is shown below and then we have the right pane okay so this is the windows explorer window then we have a new folder how can we create a new folder for creating a new folder what we have to do we have to open the window and then we have to click on the home tab we have a new folder option available over here we can create a new folder by clicking on this icon similarly if we want to create a new file what we can do we can open any folder where we want to create the new file we can simply right click our mouse button and when we right click this menu opens we can click on new option and then with new we have various types of files we can open a word file we can open a powerpoint file or any type of new file that we want to open so simply when we right click we have the new option with clicking on the new option we have this menu being popped up where we can choose any new file now next we talk about renaming a file now I have various files as you can see on the screen these files I want to change the name of a file so what can I do I can simply select the file I can again right click with my mouse and I have this rename option in the pop-up window okay I can click on this rename option and I can rename my file similarly if I want to delete my file I can simply select the file right click again select the delete option and my file will be deleted to the recycle bin if I have deleted my files in the recycle bin by mistake and I want that file back what can I do I can open the recycle bin tools I can open recycle bin and I can see all the files that I have deleted so it's a savior so what can I do I will click on any file that I want to restore I want it back so I will simply select that file click on the right option right click and then I'm going to choose the restore button okay now we move to how we are copying and moving a file if you want to copy a file we are going to select that file right click on that file a menu is going to pop up and we have the cut and the copy option if we cut this file it will be removed from here and pasted into a new location where we want to paste if we click on the copy option this file is going to remain here also and it will be copied to the new location also so we will have two copies of the file if we copy the file but if we cut the file we will have only one copy of the file that will be pasted in the destination folder where we choose now the changing of the views of the files and folders if we want to change the view like this is the detailed view that you are seeing on the screen the detailed view has name of the files the date modified the type of the file and the size of the file 
so if i select any folder i open any folder and i want to change the view of the files present in that folder i can simply right click anywhere in the folder and open the view option in the view option i will have various viewing options like content tiles details <laughs> list small icons medium icons large icons or extra large icons so i can choose any of the view and i will have the changed view of my folder then we have grouping of the files and folders what do you mean by grouping grouping means arranging the files and folders group by option is present again when we right click on the window in the folder anywhere and we get the group by option group by then we can choose according to the name or according to the date modified if we choose name then they will be arranged alphabetically if we choose the date modified then they will be arranged in an ascending order the file which was modified the earliest will be shown first then after that then after that if i show the type then the file type all the music files all the data files all the document files will be arranged differently and if i choose size then the size of the file according to the size the file with the minimum size will appear at the top then the file with the uh, maximum size would appear at last so in this way i can arrange them arrange the view with the help of group by option thank you and have a nice day